Hello Prim friends. Well, I'm bringing you today to a tag sale in a very exclusive neighborhood in uh, Canton, Ohio. So we'll go on in. I've already grabbed my goodies um, and I will show you uh, what is still here and also what I found today. Look at that cobblestone edge beside the gravel driveway. Absolutely gorgeous home. Check out these cobblestones. The estate sale actually isn't inside the house. It's inside the carriage house and then in the garage as well. I miss this chair. Wow. That is a beaut. Delaware River Valley style painted rocker. Gorgeous. The building is just incredible. Get the copper roofing. Oh, look at the size of the birdhouse on the outside. So the house is for sale as well. And the last time I looked at the price, it was uh, $1.3 million. They had just reduced it by 200000 if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go on inside, carriage house, take a quick look. Some beautiful kitchen fireplace type tools. Gorgeous lanterns. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. Look at the size of that brass. Oops. That early brass lock. With the key. Just stunning. bench is sold. Here's a large apothecary cabinet that has also sold. Some really pretty burl bowls. Kaleidoscope Pottery. This CJ Fogg Glazer. So a glass workers box. And then if you saw our last video about the wooden works clocks. This one is an antique tall case clock with wooden works. And I'm not seeing a name. On that face, but it is beautifully painted. Absolutely stunning. Step back with green painting. Beautiful, and I love that scallop across the top. Painted rooster, part of an iron weather vane. Primitive painted slat lid desk. And this is a coat and hat rack. The pieces are there to glue it back. That's really cool. <laughs> Look at 
look at the green painting on the inside. <laughs> this is also really pretty. Primitive pine drop front desk. Really pretty piece. That's gonna open for me. Oh, yeah, there's a latch. Oh, wow, look at that. Lantern. Nice. Love the architecture. It's a beautiful antique iron um, gate portion that was converted into a headboard. So the sale is only today, Friday, and Saturday. Pretty basket. I like the the handles are attached there. There's a painted bucket bench. They have 425 on that. And some pretty pottery pieces. Reader. Well, I know it's just a short video today. Hope you will hit that like button and subscribe. Check if you have subscribed or if you are still subscribed. It just happens sometimes that that falls off. Excuse the fans. It is probably one of the hottest days of the year. Beautiful concrete bench. Okay, so I'm going to show you the few things that I just brought into the shop. Um, they are all available to ship. Someone just picked up a wonderful cupboard piece right here, which really opened up this portion of the shop. So if that's yours now, congratulations. I would love to see pictures. Um, of course, you can always email those to me. My email address is gigi4224 at yahoo.com. So if you were um, watching earlier in the video, the estate sale I was recently at just picked up some amazing things at, I suppose, what you could call a local mansion. Um, but these are some fun cobblers. Uh, shoes or shoe lasts and I put them with a little box that I already had the cobbler's box so these little cuties um, depending on the shape of the shoe uh, they go from 18 16 and 14 dollars because look at the neat toe on that one but these are all relatively small so these I would say would definitely be children's shoes so yeah, 18, 16, and 14. This one seems to have initials in the toe area, if I remember correctly. Maybe an O and an R, or a D and an R, and then looks like maybe the number one. This stunning pewter picture is so heavy very very heavy for its size 
Um, I have done all kinds of research, but because it's unmarked, I am not uh, finding a maker on that. It does have this little bit of decorative right here, and then again around the bottom edge, but I am just not finding a maker's mark in my you know, experience, but not experience with these kinds of things specifically. It really does look hand hammered, but again, I would have to leave that to someone's particular expertise. I just loved it. I loved the shape of it has that really long, graceful neck. I have $135 on that. Um, I'll mention too, this sweet little cobbler's box is $45. And then on this side here, I just brought in, this is an Easter Isles handmade, does have the little label on it, child's or baby's dress. It's all smocked, beautiful lace around the collar. Just, oh, it's so sad that these kind of things are not made anymore. And the price, I mentioned to my husband, if I had a little one today, I think I would maybe have them wearing all vintage type clothing. I did have a price tag on that here somewhere. Yes, $16. The smocking on it, the handwork on it is just impeccable. Really beautiful piece. So if you're maybe a collector of old dolls or of teddy bears or something or just early clothing pieces, that's a beautiful piece. And then I have it here with the um, high chair and the little child's hobby horse. And then this piece right here, this early yoke. I have never seen one that also had the root or branch pieces along with it to hold the bucket and it is the other one is available here on this side um, but with all the dampness over the years that just became so fragile so it is um, it has come apart so I'm sure that could be replaced and restored but I have $125 on that piece, and then, of course, shipping would be on top of that. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. We'll just do a little quick walk around here, the shop in Seville, Ohio. Seville Antiques, a gorgeous uh, two-piece china cabinet, I would say, is probably um, cherry, if I had to guess. The corners are all pegged. It is not an old piece, but I would say vintage and just beautifully made. Has the wavy glass in it. So, yeah, lots of goodies, Crocs, all kinds of things, and more to come. Again, that beautiful trunk is here, that hand-painted, um, more newly hand-painted by a, a artisan. Haven't quite figured out who that is that did that, but it is really a gorgeous piece. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching, I have more to come. Home tours are on the horizon. Someone is working on some things on their home that they want to have finished before I come and do that one. And um, I hope to be at Antiques in the Woods this weekend. Probably, if all works out, I will be there on Sunday morning to do a video and, uh, and to shop. So take care everyone. We will see you in the next one.